Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I really had to make a video about this specific topic. And every time they always wanna have an announcement on Pokemon Presents or Nintendo Direct or whatever, I'm always at work every damn time. So now I'm off, I get to finally talk about it. Pokemon Legends, <laughs> okay, first of all, I'm super excited. Like, look, Pokemon has had a rocky history on the Switch. I know a lot of people aren't a fan of some games, but I'm actually really excited for this one. I really love Legends Arceus. I love all Pokemon games, even though they have their problems. But Legends Arceus was a really good game. It had a lot of good stuff going for it. And I was hoping that we would get a new Legends game eventually. Just didn't know when it's gonna happen. You know, if they were ever gonna continue with the Legends series. So to my utter shock and disbelief, not only did they skip over a black and white remake, which could easily happen, I want to make a separate video about a black and white remake someday, but not anytime soon. But not only the fact they skipped over Unova, despite the hints in the DLC for uh, Scarlet and Violet and a bunch of other stuff that uh, Game Freak has been putting in their, well, Pokemon Company has been putting on their Twitter account, they skipped over Unova and went straight to Kalos, which I am generally surprised as to why. We're getting a Legends game set in Kalos, and it's going to come in next year, not this year, because one last time it shocked me is that, like, when when they bust out Brilliant Diamond Shine Pearl, and then they have Legends Arceus, and very soon after that, like not even that long, like a few months or at least a month, I think it was like a couple months after that, they announced uh, Scarlet and Violet, which bummed me out because I really wish they could have, you know, worked with Legends Arceus a little bit longer before they released a new generation, but whatever. But I'm super happy because like the DLC for Scarlet and Violet came out a little while ago, and the fact that they're actually making this new Pokemon game, this new mainline Pokemon game, Next year is actually a good thing. That means they're technically skipping over 2024, which is actually really good. That's a really good thing. They don't have a damn Pokemon game coming out this year because I was really, really shocked about the game coming out this year. Because if it came out this year, I was like, okay, it's gonna be rushed out. But like, they're actually letting it to go next year. Super excited, super excited. The fact that Pokemon Z is a thing. <laughs> Pokemon Z is a thing. I'm actually shocked. Ilka doesn't seem to be working with. I know a lot of people hate Ilka for Brilliant Diamond Shine Pearl, how that turned out. Fair enough. Uh, I didn't really hate Brilliant Diamond Shining Pro, but I can understand why people hate it. The game isn't perfect. But I, I really like Legends, and I'm super happy we're getting a Legends. Not only we're getting a new Legends game, but it's gonna be set in Kalos. And we don't know like how the game's gonna function, but we know that the fact that uh, it's an urban redevelopment plan involving the creation of Lumino City. So it's probably back during the time where Lumino City is just being created. And that's a cool thing. And it says it's going to be entirely set in for what uh, for what they said on a tw uh, Twitter account that the game is going to take place entirely in the Lumio city. So we could expect an expansion on the city considering this is before the city was even built. It's not throughout the entire Call region. It's more like just a giant open city that you can run through, which I am cool with. That's a cool idea. Like Pokemon's never done something like that. It'd be like a big open city. Pokemon barely have any cities nowadays. Like, you know, sometimes we play old Pokemon games, you're like, the cities are rather small. And Lumino City was always one of the bigger cities in Pokemon because there was a lot of zones to go through and a lot, of, like, there's a lot of zones to go through that was so big. It's literally, the city was so big, you go through a bunch of different open zones, right? So the fact that we're getting this hopeful expansion for Legends, I, 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 it's so weird calling it Legends ZA. I'm just tempted to call it Pokemon Z. I'm so damn tempted. Uh, but yeah, Legends ZA is going to take place entirely in Cosmo. We're expecting like a, basically a, maybe a giant pre-modern version of Lumion that you can run around and you know catch Pokemon and do whatever, which I'm, I'm cool with. That's a cool idea. It's a smaller scale project. It won't be so crazy huge, and it'll give Game Freak, hopefully, this split between the DLC of Scarlet and Violet and this game will give Game Freak some time to actually you know work on the damn game and not have a crazy glitchy and all that shit when it comes out. I'm super excited for that. And I'm also super excited what this has to do with the lore because I don't know how long ago this could take place. We don't know. Did it, it have to do with anything about AZ, uh, AZ, the character from X and Y? We don't know what has to do with him, if he has any play into this. We don't know if this is even gonna take place during the time of the war. There was like a giant war happening in Carlos's backstory with that and the ultimate weapon. We don't know if that's gonna evolve with it because that war happened uh, thousands of years ago. <laughs> so don't know if that's even gonna come into play here, but you know, whatever, we'll just have to wait and see. Another thing I'm super excited about is the fact that Mega Evolution is coming back. Like, 
people have been wanting something like old mechanics back, like Mega Evolution, and I'm super excited that that's coming back. Hopefully, like as the hopefully the ending hint told us about the Mega Evolution coming, I'm super excited for that definitely too. Just to see more Pokemon if they get Megas or not, or if they're gonna do anything with that, or maybe drop some new lore about Mega Evolution like they did with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I'm way too hyped about like i am just excited pokemon z has been like this pipe dream for years <laughs> people thought okay there's no way they're gonna make a pokemon z and technically this is it maybe this is not the z that we expect but this is actually technically pokemon z <laughs> and i'm super excited about that that's like um like like something that's been like a like a not like a myth because pokemon z was not really a myth but like it's one of those things where like i'm super cool about because i never expected they would do it i never expected a pokemon like Z at all because considering the fact that they kept putting Zygarde and other Pokemon games and stuff like that, I kept thinking like, okay, when they put them in Sun and Moon, they gave them a new form. I figured that was it. You know, they were going to we're going to do anything about you know Zygarde or more, but maybe they will in Z A, which I'm super cool about. I am excited. I am really excited. Hope to see more of what they do with this and hope to bring up more updates and stuff like that. I'm 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 hyped. <laughs> like I'm hyped, and I'm hoping I I just hope they show gameplay. Like I'm really hoping they show gameplay at least this year i really do um because i don't want I, I just don't want this to end up like another scarlet and violet where it's just the game's just rushed out like and it's so glitchy that it like it's just so bad right like i'm not expecting the pokemon games to look insanely good or anything i just want them to like function and not look like garbage and shit like that like like cut the hell uh but that's really all i wanted to make the video on i haven't made a video in a while so i want to talk about you know Unova. like just like, the fact that Unova just got skipped over that's just so funny to me like i, I wonder if like in the game freak board room they're like damn like, we have black and white and black and white, too. So, could we make a Legends Kirim? Or do we make port the remakes of these games? Well, yeah, but if we have to make remakes of these games, then we'll have to remake both black and white and black and white, too. And they probably couldn't come away with merging the two together, so they probably just settled, okay, if we're skipping Unova, we're going straight to Call of Now, personally, I don't think they're going to skip Unova. I think they're going to go back and do a Unova game somehow. There's no way they're just going to skip, like... Unifor. They're, they're ha they have to remake it. There's no way they're not going to remake this game. They're not, they're not, there's no way they're not going to remake Black and White. I'll be shocked and utterly disbelief if they didn't and went on the Gen uh, 10. Like, I would be absolutely shocked if they skipped Unova and went straight to Generation 10 after Legends AZ. I, sorry, ZA. I'm sorry. I keep saying AZ. Uh, absolutely shocked. That, that would be insane. But yeah, that's all I really want to talk about, guys. I didn't want to make this video super long or anything. I'm pretty damn hyped. I'm super excited to see more of Kalos because Kalos is one of those regions where people just aren't like too hot on because like there's so much potential that for that region and it just kind of got squandered in the game, which I personally like X and Y, but I understand why people don't like X and Y. But with Legends ZA, I hope they put more lore to Kalos because that would be sick. Like more lore would be great. More like a better X and Y would be amazing to play. So yeah, uh, and plus it's a Legends game, so it has a little probably has all the Legends stuff to it. So also excited about that. So yeah, without further ado, I will see y'all next time. Peace out, everyone. I hope everyone has a great day. I just gonna wait for this game. Oh my god, I'm actually pretty excited. <laughs>